I, during the war, two, 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 I got nearly killed, nearly died several times. When we were out in Malta, I nearly died several times. But uh, the first thing, just getting to Malta, we we had a new aircraft we took from pick up from England and went down, and uh, we had to fly over Brisbane and then we stopped at Gibraltar, landed in Gibraltar. We took off there at dusk, and we we had a, all we all we had on board for, to navigate it was our radio and a, and a drift sight. And there was supposed to be a, we, a drift sight sort of gives you an opportunity of, of testing how strong the wind was because you, when your aeroplane's pointing this way and you're going that way, you, you, the drift side gives you an idea of, of what, you, if you want to stay on track, you've got to go this way a bit more to get, cram along. So those are the only tools we had. And when we, when we got over the, 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 the Sahara Desert, we were sent on a long route because the aircraft was a secret a aircraft, was the latest at radar airborne era. And we were sent over a long, a long route there to Malta, where we had to go down over. And because if we, if anything happened to us, they didn't want us to fall into enemy hands, <laughs> which almost turned out to be a joke. But anyway, uh, we, we hadn't gone very far, and all, all the sea, all the uh, it was covered with a cloud, so we never saw the, sea, the ground to get a drift sight. And so we thought, well, we'll just have to, to go to Malta and work out. You know, we knew how we had our maps here and everything, and we worked it out. And when we got you know, we'd call them up on the radio and get any help we needed. And when we when we came to use the radio, the radio was no good. It just didn't work at all. So we were left airborne over the over the Mediterranean, not knowing where we were, without any aids, and not not knowing whether we where we were supposed to be going, whether we're north, south, east, or west. And we finished up being in the air in the end for eight and three quarter hours as a bow fighter. And, and I had to make a decision of what we'd do because all we wanted to do, it, it's hard to explain to anyone that's been in the situation, but eight and three quarter hours we agonized over the water, knowing that we were probably going to have a, a watery grave and no one would ever know what had happened to us. And uh, uh, if you don't know what tension is, that, that, that's it. And I, so I decided I'd fly northwest because all we wanted to do was find, find some land that we could land on and we didn't know, we really didn't care whose land it was, whether it was German land, French land, Cyprus or what, Italy or where we were, because we had absolutely no idea where we, it turned out the wind was being, this, we, afterwards the wind was blowing about twice as strong as what we, we were given. Anyway, after when just at the end of the, our, our eight and three quarter hours, when we were running out of petrol, we we struck land, and so we didn't even know what country it was.